Amy Gillan from Donegal was crowned the 2023 Rose of London and will go on to represent London at the International Rose of Tralee Festival. How does it feel? Is it still sinking in? It's it's still sinking in at the moment, David. I, I cannot believe it. I'm I'm just I'm in shock really at the moment. I didn't expect it because there were such amazing ladies that had such inspirational stories here this evening and it's been such a brilliant night. And I am I'm just delighted. I am over the moon to to have been crowned the, the London Rose 2023. It is honestly a dream. Like <laughs> I am just so happy right now. The London Rose Ball was the culmination of the London Rose Tour, which started with the finalists riding in vintage cars at ye old Munken Halt. I've watched the Rose of Tralee since I was a little girl. I think I think most girls in Ireland have, and just I think it's it's come on leaps and bounds. It's not a, a beauty pageant. It's not that kind of thing. It moves with the times. It's about a woman's ambition, their Irishness, and I just think it's an incredible thing to be part of. Winning, none of that really matters. It's just like even tonight, we've been here an hour, and I've already met like incredible girls so I'm very very excited for the whole journey. When you're a kid and you're in Ireland and it's the summer holidays being there for the Rose of Tralee is just the most exciting thing. I think it's probably something I wanted to do since I was old enough to watch it on TV so it's pretty exciting. I mean growing up I was always told by my nan like that's the red hair, the curls, like you've got to go forward for it. And then the older I've got, I realise it's more something like I want to do for myself. And it's like a big pride to be here. Today. I just think it's such a good celebration of like Irish culture in London and a great way to meet loads of other girls that like appreciate that too. Like it's a great celebration of women. It's um, a celebration of all different types of people from different backgrounds. And I'd love to be involved to share my experiences, to meet those other people. It's a great sense of, there's lots of inspiration. There's lots of like innovation almost in the ideas and coming together with so many women. And, you know, my, my, my family always said, oh, go for it. Why don't you try Rosa Tralee? And you know, I kind of, I never did. Um, but I thought one year, do you know what? I might go for it. And um, it would be an absolute honor uh, to be the, the London Rose and represent London and all the Irish community in London um, so yeah I think I just absolutely love it I always get told all the time, they're like, oh God, you wouldn't know you're Irish at all, because all I do is talk about how lovely Ireland is and how everyone should visit it. Um, so yeah, that's why I'd like to get involved and be the London Rose and eventually the Rose Tralee. And the family always joking, you know, it might be your time one day to go for the London Rose. And I thought, actually, this was the year just to go for it and give it a shot. Yeah, it's always just been this big part of my life. It's, it's like Christmas, but with better weather. I always wanted to do it, so I was like, what better year to do it now, like, and it's my first time actually meeting all the girls, and, like, honestly, they're so, so lovely, so lovely. I've been meeting so many wonderful girls, um, you know, getting to hear everyone's story, everyone has something different about them, you know, we're not, like, one cookie-cutter type of person, and that's just a really enjoyable experience to meet new people. The Rose Ball at the Clayton Hotel in Chiswick saw all 16 finalists take to the stage to chat and, in some cases, perform a party piece. It was my dad's idea actually to put me forward for the competition so if I were to be the representative not only would it be just hugely wonderful for me but I think for my family it would be a really really lovely opportunity to set an example I think for young women for my little sister especially she's she's with me tonight um, she's only 13 so I think seeing me put myself out there a little bit and being um, just being proud of I suppose my achievements among with all these other fantastic women I think hopefully it will set a really nice, lovely example for her so if I were to be London Rose, it would be amazing. Um, I'd love it. I, all my ha family at home would love it as well. It'd be an accomplishment and it'd be something that's really important to me because of my Irish heritage and what it represents um, outside of Ireland to represent a bit of Ireland away from home. And I'm, I'm really, really excited and whoever goes on to win this evening, they're very deserving. Like, every girl here is like so unique in their own special way. 
um, and I think regardless of the outcome like I've created such a wonderful bond um, and I've gained so many sisters that I never had and uh, I can't believe it's, it's finally here it's been a mad uh, week and a half and I've loved every second and I can't wait to see what happens next and yeah we're just enjoying it and just be yourself and we're proud of who we are we're proud of our Irish heritage and we're young women and feel empowered and that's why we're here In 2022, Rose Haley Reynolds was handing on the sash after her year as London Rose. So yeah, completely honoured to have this title and it's going to be amazing. It was an incredible experience. Is that a mix of emotions? Oh, I don't want No, I do. It's, it's, it's sad because the experience has been so great. I think that's why people are sad about things ending. You don't want it to end because it's been so fab. Um, but someone else has to enjoy what I've enjoyed. Same as every other year. I can't have it forever. Um, and whoever takes it on will have the best time. And I'm so excited for them. But I am very sad. Very, very sad. A guest on the night was the newly crowned Mayo Rose, Kate Hannigan. So I'm really enjoying tonight not having the pressure of getting up on stage and still getting to meet all the, the wonderful girl, girls that are competing tonight to become the, the London Rose. It's been a fantastic night so far and looking forward to enjoying some more of it. After deliberations, judges selected Amy as the new London Rose. And for, for many years I kind of be like, oh I'd love to do that at some stage. I'd love to go for, you know, the London Rose, um, you know, when I was living in London and as I am now. And I put it off for ages and I said, you know, why not in 2023, you know, do something different, throw myself in, you know, and just embrace embrace new things and new opportunities and I just really wanted to meet you know a new group of friends um, girls and amazing ladies that I've met you know as part of um, the whole the whole process so I'm grateful for now the friendships I've made that I hopefully will continue for many years to come and I'll have big shoes to fill with the amazing Hayley Rose of the London Rose 2022 now but I am so looking forward to this incredible journey I wasn't expecting it because it's been such a brilliant night, a brilliant week on the London Rose Tour and you know hearing everybody's stories this evening but also throughout the, the different events that we had, you know, you, you, you don't know because everybody's just has such special stories as well and you know it's just it's surreal and I did get emotional, I did not expect it and I'm just, I'm so proud because I get to, you know, bring my Donegal roots along with the my London hometown now along to the, the Rose of Tralee Festival. I can't believe I'm saying that <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to it.